the Republican feel right now looks like a group of people standing out loud of, outside the line at the newest food truck on the block. Let's be real. It is thick. There's people coming from everywhere out of the woodworks. And guess who is possibly entering their name into the race? You guessed it here, folks, and you guessed it right. Our good friend, ophthalmologist not quite so certified yet, Rand Paul. Rand Paul just set the clock ticking to get his faithfully excited campaign on the ra on you know on the rails. Here is the thing: he's going to officially announce his bid for president on April seventh. He said, "That's with the, that's what the New York Times is reporting. It's going to be an early spring day." Paul said he will declare his candidacy in his home state of Kentucky, then jet off for a round of campaigning in the usual states. You know them: Iowa, New Hampshire. Oh, and don't forget South Carolina, according to the Times. At this point, you know, the only objection from his family members is, you know, you should do it whether, you're not, you, whether you should do it or not do it. Now, his father's already done this whole loop-de-loo. And I got to tell you this. I believe, and you guys know me here at The Fowler Show, whether you're liberal or whether you're conservative, I believe in giving people props when props are deserved. And I got to tell you, I give Ron Paul, Ron Paul a lot of props. He's built an infrastructure. He's built an army of people that will basically blindly follow his son to the wilderness and they'll just keep going. Like they will, you know, these people are true believers of whatever the Paul fortune is. I'm not. But I applaud him. I applaud them. Bravo. And here's the thing. So he's going to jump, throw his hat in the ring. And here's where I think it's, it's, it could work. Right? If Rand Paul can make it to South Carolina... He will, I could see Rand doing really good in the open primary states. Now, Rand Paul is one of the few, one of the few, few. Now, I don't agree with his policies, but he is at least brave enough, America, to have the hard conversations. After Ferguson, there was one Republican who you heard from, our good friend Rand Paul, who was like, we need criminal justice reform, we need to fix mandatory minimums, and I'm willing to get it done. For his colleagues and other pre potential presidential contenders, well, if you have Mike Huckabee, who cares more about Beyonce's ass than he does about, you know, criminal justice reform. You have Jeb Bush, who's trying to wash off his father and his brother's past. And you have our good friend Ben Carson, who's not sure if he's a doctor or a politician. Oh, well, let's not forget Scott Walker, the guy who absolutely positively hates the working class Americans. So, he listen, I think Rand has a really good chance. And I think if he makes it to the general... Hey, you know, there's something to be said for that.